Oh, it started at three. I was like, how is it almost over? Um, fuck. Wait, who's winning? Oh, damn. That's crazy. Do we know who they're playing in the Super Bowl yet? Did the 49ers... Um, and whoever they were playing, did they do that game yet? Or no, not yet. Oh, they're both? Oh, the other one's later, right? Oh my god, fuck, I didn't even look at that one. Wait, 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 <laughs> no, I'm stressed out. Um, it's the 49ers in the hill. Who's the quarterback on the 49ers? Oh, I looked at his chart. I looked at his chart. Brock Purdy with Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh my god, I hate seeing that all these people were born in fucking 99. Okay, let's see. Fuck, I really need to make a prediction tonight for tomorrow, for the Super Bowl. Okay, Brock Purdy was born on December 27th. They're playing um, in Detroit, or are they playing in San Francisco? San Francisco. Okay, Brock Purdy's chart. Let me pull up the other one really quick. Lions quarterback. Yeah, I was seeing a lot of that. I was seeing people being like, yeah, it's 49ers, no doubt. I don't even think I've heard somebody say the Lions. Like, that's why I was like, wait, who are they playing? <laughs> like, I don't really even see anyone rooting for them. But we need to be fair. October 14th, 1994. October 14th, 1994. Versus Purdy, right? Is that his name? Okay, this is Goff's for Purdy. Um, and we'll make 
make sure it's to the hour. So that one starts at six. I, yeah, the Chiefs, like, there's no, I'm sorry, like, there's just no way they're gonna lose anything. There's no fucking way Taylor Swift would not be dating the fucking guy, uh, fucking Travis Kelsey, if they were gonna, if they had any chance at losing. I low key think uh, football's rigged. Like, I think it's rigged and it's not. <laughs> but, okay, that game, what time does the game start? So we'll look at their chart for like nine. Do not fucking these people. I'm not retaining these people's names. Purdy and Goff. Is it Goff? I, I can't keep going in and out of these tabs. So his name is Goff right now. If it's if that's the case. Okay. Let's see. Purdy has a, a single good aspect, but it's separating. So it really peaked like yesterday, two days ago. There's really like not a lot happening here, honestly. Eight degrees, someone over to South Philadelphia. Let's look at the harsh aspects. Um, he might, we don't know the exact degree of his moon doesn't look too promising. He's on the 49ers though, right? That's the team that every, well, that I'm literally seeing people support. Like I literally am not seeing one person say they want the Lions to win. Um, it's so annoying to do this without literally any information. Okay, let's look at the other one. Let's look at Goff's chart. Ooh, ooh. He, he might have, uh, okay. Mars is hard when you're looking at a transit chart for sports because Mars rules sports and action and aggression and competition. It also rules injury. So, Goff's chart on the Lions looks a little bit more promising, but at the same time, like, I low-key think he might get injured because it looks like there's a little bit of confusion or miscommunication around something. That doesn't necessarily have to be injury. Maybe there's going to be, like, a call that people don't agree with or that doesn't really make a lot of sense. There's a general sense of like aggressive communication, but that there's something that's unclear or that you can't see. Is he sick? <laughs> I don't know. Is he sick? Um, has he already been injured and he's entering the game with an injury? That's a little bit stressful. He's having his Saturn return for better or for worse. I don't know because we don't have his birth time. Saturn likes to challenge the F out of people, but it can also reward you with like your life's work paying off. Um, God, there's really like not a lot to work with. Um, let's see, transiting Chiron. He has a Scorpio stellium. So Jupiter is really, what degree is Jupiter at? Six degrees. Honestly, Goff's chart looks kind of good in comparison to Purdy's chart. Not because his chart looks bad. It low-key just looks like uneventful. It doesn't look like anything insane is happening, honestly. Um, let's 
I would never think that this person is like, you know, has a chance of going to the Super Bowl today. Like, it just doesn't look that monumental. Granted, again, we don't have his birth time. Um, I don't see anything inherently bad, which is good. But I also don't see anything impeccably great. Um, the thing, though, is that with slight movement, well, actually, actually, the Super Bowl is on February 11th. Maybe Purdy's chart is actually going to look better on Super Bowl day. So let's pretend they're going to the Super Bowl. Venus, 24 degrees. Ah, uh, 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 Purdy's chart looks good on the Super Bowl. Purdy's chart looks good on the Super Bowl, better on the Super Bowl. Um, all right, now let's look at Goff's chart during the Super Bowl. So, okay, so far Goff's chart looks a little bit better today. It's not that Purdy's chart looks bad. It just doesn't look really like there's much happening very specifically to him. But Purdy's chart on the 49ers looks a little bit better on Super Bowl day, which is ironic because today there isn't much going on. And if we look at Goff's chart, who today looks kind of good to me, but let's pretend they go to the Super Bowl. Again, he's still going to be having his Saturn return. That's a longer transit, but... Um, on this day, oh my god, like I swear this shit is fake, like it's just, it's uncanny how both people really have like such similar things going on. Um, the south node's going over Goff's chart too, that's not always the best thing ever, it's like, sometimes it can be helpful, but sometimes it can be like the past or like just the inability to grow fully. That's really not always the case across the board with sports. I think it'd be applied differently. Uranus is square his assumed moon, but it's also opposite his Uranus and I mean his Jupiter and Venus. I hate the shit that gives me a headache trying to make sense of this without any, without really anything. Um, <laughs> they both you know I'll say in Purdy's chart while he does have better things going on closer to the Super Bowl it still looks like some of his better stuff isn't happening until like a week or two later granted you can argue when you go to the Super Bowl that like those following few weeks are still pretty celebratory whether you win or not you go to the Super Bowl um But then he also has a really shitty aspect, actually, at this coming up at the same time. God, um, this is so annoying. I have not seen anybody say, wow, that sucks for them. RIP the Ravens. I know people were like really rooting for them. Did, did what's happening with Lamar? Did he get hurt or anything or what's going on with him? I know people were really rooting for him. I think that I think the 49ers will win because actually oh my god I, I think the 49ers are gonna win I think because 
It just looks like um, Purdy's chart, by the time the Super Bowl rolls around, it kind of makes more sense to me. Venus is gonna be at 24. Like, yeah. But let's let's look at tonight again. Okay. Venus today in Purdy's chart, Venus would have just crossed over his sun. It's breaking a conjunction with it. It's still really close, but it already peaked. Um, Mars is coming into an incoming square with his Jupiter, which will, between now and the Super Bowl, perfect. And then it'll be a, a separating square by the time the Super Bowl happens, which is kind of good. Um, it's just really competitive, compat oh my God, competitive and really ambitious. Mercury will be also coming into a square with Jupiter. That can be celebratory at times. The sun will cross over his, oppose his north node. And then we'll look at Goth again. Oh my God, girl, you're just like me. <laughs> okay, uh, let's look at his chart again. Let's let's manually look up. He has some like faded stuff going on, and that's not to say it's bad. It's just he has some nodal stuff happening, which is usually very faded and inherently malefic, meaning it can be troublemaking, but it doesn't it doesn't always have to be the case. It's usually like stagnancy, like you're getting pulled backwards rather than yeah. It's like limiting your potential or feeling like you got slapped on the wrist a little bit. But okay, let's keep looking at that. So he has this, the south node going over it. His son would not say that's my favorite transit at all. Um, and then he's also having his Saturn return, which inherently is incredibly challenging. Granted, it can be also very rewarding depending on the way that it's configured in the chart, but we can't tell because we don't have his information really. Um, where's Venus going to be? seven degrees venus will be venus will be um oh never mind i thought it was in a trine it's not it'll be sextile his saturn and sextile his mercury both of which that's nice but sextiles are the weakest aspect you can have so it's like he still doesn't have much happening and also his mercury and mars again tonight they're conjoining his Uranus and his Neptune, which is some form of missing information and like not seeing things clearly. And it's also like unexpected things, which makes me think accident or which makes me think injury. Mars and Mercury together in the sky point blank period. It's like violent communication. It's aggressive confrontations. Like we do want to see an active Mars in sports because it's competitive and it fights to win but mars and uh uranus is like dumpster fire like it's unexpected war it's unexpected injury it is it's crashing and burning basically again doesn't have to be bad every single time it's just it's typically going to be um you know something that more goes against your favor than it's in it and with neptune in the mix it's making it un confusing or unclear so Mars conjunct natal Neptune transit. Why are so many people coming in my life? Oh my God, thank you, Mari. Love you, girl. I hope you're having a great day too. That was sweet. And who, that was for Goff. So yeah, I don't know. I think the Lions may lose. I think that the 49ers are gonna win. I don't know if that's very obvious. I mean, they've made it this far so clearly they're doing something right.
you need to be cautious, I would say, with what's going on in Goth's chart for the lions. You need to be cautious and careful. It kind of looks sucky. It kind of looks sucky. It kind of looks sucky for the lions, for the 49ers. Um, again, it's not the most active chart I've ever seen, but for the most part, he has incoming positive transits that will uh, unfold over the two weeks between now and Val I mean, Valentine's Day, now in the Super Bowl. A girl brain, literally. Oh my God, I'm about to fall asleep right now. He has Venus. Um, transiting Venus will be trying his Saturn. He has Jupiter coming into an incoming conjunction with his Saturn. He has... Mars and Mercury conjunction are incoming to Jupiter. They won't even perfect by the time the Super Bowl rolls around, but it's nice to know that it's in touch with a benefic more than a malefic. Um, and they'll be in a supportive aspect to his Venus too. So he has both positive planets trying to help him out. The nodes, where is it? What's going on with the nodes? There's nothing caught in the nodes for him. Yeah. I think I gotta say the 49ers. And then if we look at the 49ers, so, okay, let's pretend that they're going to the Super Bowl, right? We'll look at Purdy's chart and then we'll look at Mahomes' chart. Um, let's pull up Mahomes' birth chart. Oh wait, what? Is this his, oh, I guess it's not reliable. Okay, um, Patrick Mahomes charged on September 17th, 1995. September 17th, 1995. Oh my God, can these fucking ads, dude? Oh my God, I'm gonna freak out. In Tyler, Texas. <sighs> All right, so we'll do Super Bowl day for Patrick Mahomes. Oh my God, wait, you know what I didn't even realize? <laughs> and I wasn't doing this. What time does the Super Bowl usually start? Like 8, 8.30? Yeah, we'll say like, we'll say 8 o'clock. So it'll probably, we'll, we'll look at their chart for like 10.30. Or 10, I mean. So, okay. Oh my God, I'm literally losing track of <laughs> whose chart I'm looking at. Okay. Mahomes chart on the Super Bowl. It's on February 11th. Mahomes chart on the Super Bowl. He has Mars and Pluto at the bending of his nodes, which is very intense. <laughs> he has... Venus conjunct his Uranus, which can be beneficial, but is equally like unpredictable and shocking. Maybe they'll, maybe the Chiefs will look like they're losing and then they'll pull through the last second. Um, South nodes conjunct his natal Mercury. Interesting. 
Um, Saturn is doing what? Saturn is... Saturn is square his Jupiter, which I don't love because it can limit you. But Pluto and Mars are really supporting his Chiron and his Venus. I really wonder if during the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes is going to get injured or just like, I wonder if the Chiefs are really going to look like they're losing and then they unexpectedly pull through or have like good recovery or kind of redeem themselves because there is susceptibility to like either injury or just like oh my god bro like annoyingness but it looks like anything in terms of vulnerability or injury or like general unexpected frustrations are are going to be supportive at least by the end of it i'm looking at the chart for i think 10 o'clock on the Super Bowl, so we're going to be two hours in. Um, yeah, I think... I think that's what I'd say for him. His transits look more monumental for the Super Bowl, and then Purdy on the 49ers. Granted, we're assuming that they're making it to the Super Bowl and beating the Lions. Um, his chart has some good things. There's really nothing inherently bad. Um, I don't know. There's really nothing exactly bad. There's nothing that is like, you know, an absolute given of losing. But there's also not something that's an absolute, you know, given of winning. So I would say with what's going on monumentally in uh, Mahomes' chart, like, yeah, I think the Chiefs are going to win <laughs> Super Bowl. Like, I just, I think we knew that. I actually didn't, I think I said like a week or two ago that I didn't think that they were going to end up winning. But why did I think that? There, there had to have been a reason. The sun is also going to be conjunct his, yeah, like, I'm sorry. Yeah. At the very worst, Mahomes gets injured. I don't know, though. I do think they're going to win. <laughs> I just... I think that they are going to win. But why did I think that they were going to lose? Last week, I was like, if the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl, I don't think they will win. And I don't know why I thought that. I can't remember now. There had there must have been something that I was like, eh, about. But maybe, I've, maybe there's been something that's overcome by, yeah, there might be an issue. I think part of it, too, was the Jupiter square to his Saturn because that can really... It can really restrict you. It can limit you. So I'm thinking like, okay, well, how does that happen in a football game being limited? It constricts you, let's say, by an injury or by being called out, by having something that slaps you on the wrist and tells you no, whether that be a physical ailment or like a rule. I think that there's something where like, that's probably what's going to happen with Mahomes. Or maybe people will get mad at him, honestly, for something. I don't know what he could do that people would get mad at him, but unless he, like, drops the ball or some shit. I guess we can look at Travis Kelsey. I think I looked at his chart for the Super Bowl, too, and I was like, why does it look like nothing's going on? <laughs> and again, that's the stuff that makes me think, like, is this even real or is this just... He was born in Westlake, Ohio.
Travis Kelsey is old bitch compared to these other people. I'm literally typing in like 2002, 1989. Come on, man. I think he's gonna retire this year. Wait, tell me I was looking at his chart. Okay, I was. February 11th at 10 p.m. Okay, Travis Kelsey's chart on the Super Bowl day. Jupiter will try in his Saturn. Love to see that. It'll also try in his Neptune. That's pretty celebratory. That is like worldwide celebration. Um, yeah. Uh, Saturn is supporting his natal Saturn and his assumed moon. And his, oh, the Chiefs are winning the Super Bowl. The Chiefs are winning the Super Bowl, I think. I feel like this is so annoying to watch. Um, yeah, I don't know, like without any times and stuff, the very worst thing that can show up is like a very clear hard aspect between the malefics, which would be Saturn and Mars. He doesn't have that. He just doesn't have any bad aspects with either of them. Um, if anything it's square his moon but we don't even know the exact degree of his moon because you don't know what time he was born it's supporting his natal Saturn it's supporting his Jupiter um, with Mars Mars will be really not in any hard aspect to anything Mars is trying his mercury which is good <laughs> yeah i don't know Try yeah i think it's funny though that mahomes chart looks challenging on the super bowl but travis's looks pretty good travis like looks like he does not have an issue on the day of the super bowl um mahomes chart though he does have a tough aspect to saturn and he does have a tough aspect to mars so listen, this is the thing. I don't know how to play football. I just don't. I know that um, Holmes is the quarterback, correct? I don't know what Travis Kelsey is. I just know he's somewhere in there. So maybe there's something where as, as a quarterback, he's going to deal with either injury, a bad call, or some sort of limiting circumstance. And um, Travis might take the cake for the reason they win. And if I'm not mistaken, I know that people were dying over Mahomes last year for the Super Bowl, but wasn't didn't Travis do something like celebration worthy? Because I feel like he was, you know, prior to the whole craze of him being famous now, like, I feel like people were like, oh my God, he's the MVP. Like people were like, who is this man? Why is he so sexy? And why is he like amazing? And that's why the spotlight first got on him. Yeah, dude, like I'm tweeting it right now. I gotta get the news out there. Well, okay. Who was the other person? Goth? Did I X out of his chart? Fuck, I probably did. Mm. Who is this? 
Whose chart is this? <laughs> um, okay, this says Mahomes chart. This is Purdy's chart. This is Travis Kelsey's chart. Lions, Bob. I mean, I don't think the Lions are going to make it to the Super Bowl, but. I cannot believe how much older Travis comes in. I don't know why it's so funny to me. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's the he's the Saturn return. Um, Saturn return square to vertex, which I mean that's like a point in the sky. It's not necessarily a planet. He has a out of sight aspect to Mars. Transiting Mars is going to be at 29 degrees. Where's Pluto? Um, yeah, it just doesn't look too... Doesn't look like too much going is going on. So I'm assuming he's not going. Jupiter will be in a f separated square to Mars, but that makes me think that he's not going. Like, that. it would have already peaked. It would have already happened. So we're taking the Lions out of this. The 49ers are going to win. And they're going to play the Chiefs. And the Chiefs are going to win. 49ers will win. Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. The thing is, this is such a big statement to make. I, li I literally get nervous when I tweet about, um, have I been spelling the Chiefs wrong this whole time? Yeah, okay. I was going to say, why is, why is the incorrect spelling of the Chiefs trending? 49ers will win against the Lions. The Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. Mahomes might have an injury or a limiting circumstance. Uh, an, an injury, a bad call. Or a limiting circumstance of some sort, Trav but Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey will save the day. Be celebrated for saving the day. I mean, who would have guessed? <laughs> like, with the fucking Taylor Swift shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Duh. Duh. And I guarantee that's where my prediction with uh, Taylor Swift comes in because her chart, let's look at her chart on the day of the Super Bowl. Uh, Taylor Swift's birth chart. Guess what? We don't have a fucking birth time for her either. So annoying, but we're going to work with it. Um, we have an assumed birth time, which isn't very helpful, honestly. So let's go to astro.com. Because I think I have her information saved. Taylor Swift. 
multiple signs. I don't think we can put the time on that day, but we'll put, you know what, we'll do, we'll do February 12th because it'll be close to midnight. Okay, on that day, Venus is going to be in a sextile to her Mars. The moon will be um, in a trine to her Mars. And previously, a few hours prior, we'll be trying her Pluto. Mercury will be at 10 degrees of Aquarius. 10 degrees of Aquarius. Mercury will... Uh, Mercury isn't really aspecting anything. Venus, we said, will be... Or, I'm sorry, it's not, tri it's not sextile. It's square her Mars. Which is kind of cat and mouse. Um, it's not perfecting that day. It'll perfect probably on Valentine's Day. Mars and Pluto are going to be conjunct her natal Venus. Hello. That's like the biggest aspect that she has right now. That was a big deal. Jupiter. Jupiter is sextile her natal Jupiter. I also think she has her own stuff going on, to be clear, though. Like, I think she's about to do something really big. Saturn is going to be... Coming into a sextile with her Mercury. In a trine to her fucking Jupiter. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll say 49ers will win against the Lions. Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. Mahomes might have an injury or bad call or limiting circumstance of some sort. Travis Kelsey will be celebrated for saving the day. We'll say, but Travis Kelsey will be celebrated for saving the day. And him and Taylor Swift will, I don't even know. I just feel like there's gonna be a big display of their, um, whatever you call it. <laughs> well, I, I had the crazy thing of engagement, but that's for like Valentine's Day around the Super Bowl. Why did I think that? Let's look at it. Travis, why did I think? Well, I thought that because her Pluto conjunct Venus. But I also like Loki think they're going to break up in the summer because he has or get engaged. I, don't, I literally don't know. There's going to be some shock with love or finances, whether it's him retiring, him getting engaged, pregnancy breakup whatever the hell it is in like august or something um something's happening there maybe even a little bit july is really fucking big for them for both of them for travis and taylor july is a big deal i think taylor's pluto venus intensity with love money whatever our beauty looks branding it perfects on the 22nd so I feel most confident in saying that, what I already have written, and then maybe under it, I'll, I'll include the Taylor Swift stuff. I'm really going out on a limb here. So someone tweeted me, I'm really shocked at how much leeway they gave Travis. He was fighting and taunting and he never got a yellow flag. I 
I really like watching the tweets like in the last two minutes of the game. Like it's so exhilarating for me to see people get so angry <laughs> and passionate. Okay, what's this? You gotta fight for your Sounds possessed. You gotta fight for your to Believe it, baby, we're going to Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas. What's Las Vegas? You gotta fight for your. <laughs> I can't your... stop watching it. I've never heard someone say Nevada with such violence in their voice. Vegas, Nevada. Sounds like a threat. They showed Taylor in that clip, by the way. The clip's 14 seconds, and they made sure to, to clip her. So, okay, I'm gonna save this as a draft and then I'm gonna tweet the things that I've tweeted before. <laughs> People are so upset that the Chiefs won. Ah.